benefits belong to the American people, they earned it. And if anyone tries to cut Social Security, which apparently no one's going to do, <laughs> and if anyone tries to cut Medicare, I'll stop them. I'll veto it. And look, I'm not going to allow them to take away, be taken away. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. But apparently, it's not going to be a problem. <laughs> Next month, when I offer my fiscal plan, I ask my Republican friends to lay down their plan as well. I really mean it. Let's sit down together and discuss our mutual plans together. Let's do that. I can tell you, the plan I'm going to show you is going to cut the deficit by another $2 trillion. And it won't cut a single bit of Medicare or Social Security. In fact, we're going to extend the Medicare Trust Fund at least two decades. Because that's going to be the next argument. How do we make keep it solvent, right? Well, we'll not raise tax on anyone making under 400 grand, but we'll pay for it the way we talked about tonight by making sure that the wealthy and big corporations pay their fair share. Look, look, look. Here, here's the deal. They aren't just taking advantage of the tax code. They're taking advantage of you, the American consumer. Here's my message to all of you out there. I have your back. We're already preventing Americans from receiving surprise medical bills, stopping $1 billion surprise bills per month so far. We're protecting seniors' life savings by cracking down in nursing homes that commit fraud, endanger patient safety, prescribe drugs that are not needed. Millions of Americans can now save thousands of dollars because they can finally get a hearing aid over the counter without a prescription. Look, capitalism without competition is not capitalism. It's extortion. It's exploitation. Last year, I cracked down with the help of many of you on foreign shipping companies that were making you pay higher prices for every good coming into the country. I signed a bipartisan bill that cut shipping costs by 90 percent, helping American farmers, businessmen, and consumers. Let's finish the job. Pass the bipartisan legislation to strengthen, to strengthen antitrust enforcement. Hello, friends. Happy February 7th to all of you. Friends, I have shocking news to inform all of you about today. President Biden has just unveiled a brand new plan to raise taxes for many Americans. But the Biden administration has said that the plan will not affect low-income households Top economists have agreed that this plan will help fund important programs like Medicare and Social Security. Friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to find out what you need to know about President Biden's proposal. Also, I want to say thank you for joining me here every day and for being part of this community. I will be announcing two winners this coming Friday for the $75 Walmart gift card giveaway. Please enter the giveaway simply by clicking and liking several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. My friends, the more videos that you watch and then leave a comment on, the greater your chances of winning the weekly giveaways. Today, President Biden touted the nation's economic health in a State of the Union address. Just days after the blockbuster jobs report showed a strong labor market, which has coincided with a months-long easing of inflation. The U.S. president said, We have more to do, but here at home, inflation is coming down. President Biden also proposed solutions for what he considers an ongoing economic ill. It is the income and wealth inequality. And according to a study released by the Federal Reserve, the wealth of the top 1% increased by $6.5 trillion in 2021. The wealthiest Americans controls 32% of our country's wealth. So the Biden administration's agenda includes two policy proposals. Number one, a new tax on billionaires. And number two, the sharp increase of a current tax on corporate stock buybacks. According to ABC News, the idea is to have a commitment to reducing inequality. There is no indication that the increase in inequality is stopping anytime soon, 
and something should be done about it. So the Democrats say, there is no indication that the increase in inequality is stopping anytime soon, and something should be done about it. The White House said that a key part of Biden's new economic policy agenda is a billionaire's tax, which would set a minimum tax for the wealthiest Americans. The Biden administration has also offered scant details about the proposal, but it appears to closely resemble a policy that Biden put forward last March. At that time, he called for a tax rate of at least 20% on Americans who bring in at least $100 million per year. The tax rate would apply both to income and unrealized gains. In an official statement, President Biden believes that anyone should be able to become a millionaire or a billionaire. He also believes that it is wrong for America to have a tax code that results in America's wealthiest households paying a lower tax rate than working families. The White House's Council of Economic Advisors found between the years 2018 and 2020, the nation's wealthiest 400 families paid an average tax rate of 8%. The wealthiest 25 people saw their worth increase a combined $401 billion between 2014 and 2018, but they paid an average federal income tax of 3.4% on that wealth. But by contrast, the median American making $70,000 a year pays an average federal income tax of 14%. The proposal likely will face a staunch Republican opposition, giving it a low probability of becoming law. Since right now, Republicans control the House of Representatives. In addition to the billionaire's tax, President Biden proposed a sharp increase of a current tax on corporate stock buybacks. The Inflation Reduction Act, which was signed into law by Biden in August 2022, imposed a 1% tax on stock buybacks. So if a company purchases $100 million worth of shares, it must pay $1 million in taxes. In his State of the Union address, Biden proposed quadrupling that tax to 4%. Republicans have proposed another proposal that would also affect sales tax, the Fair Tax Act of 2023, a bill introduced by Republican Representative Earl Carter. It proposes a national sales tax on the use or consumption of taxable property or services. The sales tax would be levied in place of current income taxes, payroll taxes, and estate or gift taxes. Though the bill outlines a 23% tax rate, the gross payment, or the payment for both taxable property and services, combined with federal taxes, is actually closer to 30%. The bill does not yet have broad GOP support, and it's unlikely to pass. It would need to not only make it through the House, but also the Senate, which has a Democratic majority. President Biden has already stated he will veto the bill should it defy odds and reach his desk. Well, my marvelous and most beautiful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Tuesday. Thank you, dear friends, for joining me here and for being part of this community. Friends, I'll be announcing two winners for the $75 Walmart gift card giveaway in just a few days. Please make sure you enter the weekly giveaway by clicking and liking several of my videos. And then friends, comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, my friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Thank you and have a very wonderful and very blessed week.